Uh, we come to questions to the Secretary of State for International Trade, and we start with Peter Aldous. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Number one. So stay and welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the government's export strategy sets out how we aim to capture up to £170 billion worth of export sales, which are estimated for 2030, in low carbon sectors. At the Green Trade and Investment Expo held earlier this week, we showcased the best renewable energy technologies and innovations that the UK has to offer. Over the last year, DIT has supported £5 billion worth of exports across energy and infrastructure sectors. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. I welcome my right honourable friend to her place and I'm grateful to her for her reply. With 50% of the UK's offshore wind fleet anchored off the East Anglian coast, local businesses have acquired a unique set of skills, knowledge and expertise which should be promoted abroad so as to increase trade opportunities. A case in point is the Memorandum of Understanding between the New Anglian LEP and Virginia Beach in the US. I'll be most grateful if my right honourable friend can confirm that a national framework is in place to ensure that we make the most of these great opportunities. So today. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm very grateful to my honourable friend uh, for raising these issues and for highlighting the good work that um, DIT is doing. He'll be pleased to know that um, in 2020, the latest figures we have available, the UK exported £821 million worth of offshore wind products. Um, this was with the support of DIT overseas and sector teams. So we do have a plan in place to carry out um, these promotions. And work is ongoing to continue to build the UK's extensive export offer and maximise economic value. And my honourable friend will also be pleased to know that in and around his constituency of Waveney, DIT is supporting Lowestoft and also Great Yarmouth in the build out of Iberdrola and Baton Falls projects, which are developing capability to export low carbon technology globally. Yeah. Karen McCarthy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Earlier this week, I had the pleasure of meeting.